Welcome to Agents of Screen. I am your boy Miles, aka the Dark Skin Enrique Iglesias, and we're here for Cobra Kai season finale, season four, episode ten. It goes without saying that if you haven't seen this season, there's gonna be spoilers from this point onwards. So you know, don't be that person. But if you are that person, after you've seen it come back. But how have you been enjoying the season so far? Let me know before we get into the final episode. But me. I've had my ups and downs with it. I'll go into my cons first. <sighs> I feel like Johnny and Daniel are just so immature. Like we're in season four. It's just been four years and you man are still this petty and immature for, for the entire season. Where's the... How come? Where's the character development? They're still on this. My way is the only way. My karate is the best karate. I thought you got over all of them speed bumps and obstacles like you have to join forces why are you still so stubborn so immature come on and i think like the first five episodes i was like Aah. like they ramped the ridiculousness and the corniness up to it was with my dbz scout it was well over nine thousand. but you know with cobra kai you accept that ridiculousness so it has ridiculousness in a good way and in bad ways as well like that whole choreographed dance in the prom robbie was moving like patrick swayze in there i also felt like the cobra kai merch was like a very blatant cash grab but some of the merch is fired or i can't lie look one of them yellow hoodies that my man stole from the little boy Kenny. That hoodie was fire still. Sponsored by Champion. It seems very, it seems a bit too blatant for me. Maybe that's just me. And I'll go into this more on the pro side later on. But they made us root for like weird characters. So on the con side, it was like Stinkray. Or I know his name is Stinkray, but I'm calling him Stinkray. Like, pfft. I don't know if he was meant to be likeable, but I don't, I don't like that guy, man. If he was my neighbor, I'm telling him to get out. If man's throwing frisbees on top of my roof, he's he playing Metallica to all times in the morning, blazing the music. He's just a, he's just a nuisance. Like, I just don't like him. But uh, again, but let's get to the pros, though. I feel like this season in particular is like a love letter to the 80s. It always is, like, throughout the season, they drop, like, the references. But I felt like this season, they were cramping up. And even though, like, the first three Karate Kid movies came out before I was born, like I still catch all of them references when I saw one of the boys wearing like a Mick Foley dude love hoodie. They're talking about best of the best and blood sport and Highlander and Rowdy Rowdy Piper and all them different references. I love all that. And the last five episodes, well the last four so far, I thought was much better than the first five. So as the season went along, I, it, it picked up in the seriousness, the stakes, how Episode 9 ended, Black Miggy is back. Oh. I enjoyed that they made us root or not root for different characters this season. So it's kind of subverted expectations in ways. For example, like Samantha's carrying on like a, a, a bomber hole this season. Like you're rooting for Tori even though she's still Cobra Kai. And I like the whole message of breaking the wheel and all of that. Because at times, like I said in the first five episodes, it seemed like they were going to rehash. And they somewhat did, but it seemed like they were going to fully rehash certain storylines. And they subverted expectations and did the whole breaking the wheel thing. So I appreciate that. And there were a few scenes throughout the season that I enjoyed. <laughs> Kenny in the library he was moving like batman mixed with tony jar mixed with jackie chan he was moving through the bookshop <laughs> how did he learn these skills i swear at one point he gave someone a muay thai kick to the head that was a good scene a funny scene was when uh sensei lawrence was in the water he was preparing for the match against daniel son and he was just in the water fight in the waves i thought that was hilarious the pac-man suit in the prom was fire i love that it was nice to see aisha as well again and even though it was short a really good emotional scene was when after the prom miggy goes to sensei lawrence's house sees him on the floor he's been drinking because he just got beaten up by by terry silver he's taking care of him putting him to bed and earlier on in the prom robbie says to him like listen he doesn't even really care about you he's just nice to you because he feels guilty about how he treated me and that's kind of remained as a seed in his brain so when he's fast forward to taking care of him putting him to bed he says like a heart to heart moment like sensei i love you and johnny says i love you too robbie oh you could see miguel's face just broke his heart broke his heart broke i, I felt that I felt that. It reminded me of that scene in Simpsons, the Valentine's Day episode, when Ralph says to Lisa on national TV, Krusty's there, he wants her to be his girlfriend. And then Lisa goes into some rant, and then it cuts to Bart with the remote control. 
and he's like, he's rewinding and he's like, if you use slow motion right now, you can pinpoint the exact moment that his heart broke. Now you listen to me. I don't like you. I never liked you. And the only reason I gave you that stupid Valentine's because nobody else would. Watch this, Lise. You can actually pinpoint the second when his heart rips in half. And now. See that? You could probably put them side by side. I'm too lazy to do it. But Miguel's face and Ralph's face, you can pinpoint the exact moment their heart broke. I'm not going to go through every single one, but the point being, there's a lot of different story threads, all culminating in the All Valley Tournament. We'll see how this one's going to end. It's subverting expectation yet again. I thought we were going to get the, the Robbie versus Miguel rematch. I don't know if that's going to happen. He just tried to do the spin kick to end all spin kicks. But he hurt his back. They call for the medic. Who do you want to win between Tori and Sam? I feel like at this very point in time, Sam has gotten a bit too big for her boots, so she needs humbling. So I kind of want Tori to win that match. But if you like the content, please like, share, and subscribe. I know someone who's definitely going to like this video because I'm wearing this shirt, Lukaku. If you know, you know. But that being said, let's get into this reaction. More moments later. Bro, is, is it that deep? Man's in hospital. Oh, I was about to say fucking hell, bro. I thought it was Miguel. Yeah, I don't care for Stinkray. I can't lie, dog. Go hang with some people your own age. You waste of space, bastard. Yeah, even when he was at his own house or whatever and he beat up the, his neighbor. Bro, what's he doing? He has to go to prison. Send this man to prison. I had a hard enough time beating him when he was on the good side of the horse. Everything's gone all Sith. I feel like a helpless Jedi yelling he, about to get slaughtered. He does remind me of Anakin Skywalker. That's how Obi-Wan beat Anakin, right? Just remember your fundamentals, Dimitri. Breathe in, breathe you, out, breathe through. You use the high ground, fam. Use the high ground. Yes, Dimitri, let's go. Oh, almost. 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 Oh, yeah! He's got a little swag to it as well. Oh, unlucky. Good effort, though, bro. Good effort, Dimitri, man. Good, good effort, Dimitri. You did, you did yourself proud, bro. Bro! You're gonna be in the world. Nah, 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 nah. Robbie should have broke his nose even more. This is this is some evil Miles Morales. Just, just Miles Morales just, just me needed Miyagi Do. That's what he needed. He's just gonna repeat the sins of his brother. Do what I tell you, we'll not only take down Cobra Kai, we'll show LaRusso and everybody else who's really the best. It's not about that though, that's not important. Hey, we're not gonna get another shot at this. But first, the boys fight. Good luck to all of our fighters. Let's go! I was gonna say that the I was looking forward to the girls match more than the boys match, so I'm glad that they put the girls match last. Is the unlikely gonna happen? Is Hawk gonna be all valley champion, bro? I can't imagine it. I think it has to be you know, Robbie's weakness will get exploited. He's at his core, Robbie is a nice you. He's a nice guy. He's just been had a hard time. Ready? Yeah. He's misguided. I think his niceness will be the downfall. Okay. He's still the, he's the most gifted though. Okay. Okay, Hawk. Okay, Eli. Turn up on him. Turn up on Robbie. Okay. Yeah, let's go, Eli. Oh, these boys are turning up. I'm gonna pause it for a second. The action that I've just seen in the last 30 seconds is better than the action I've seen in the entire movie of Matrix Resurrections. They're not related, but I feel like it needed to be said. And the fact that it is true is so disrespectful to Matrix. Why is that the case? You should be ashamed of yourself. But let's go though, this is this is fire. These boys are doing a hell of a job with the choreography. Ooh! Ooh, this is high level! This is high level! How long did it take them to learn this? It's actually them doing it too. Oh! 
Turn him, finish him. Well done, boys. They're turning up, I can't lie. <laughs> this guy's a hell of an announcer too. He's going in. He's going on sick. Okay. Man went full Ryu. I wonder if he had that in his contract. I have to show my abs. Okay, Robbie. Man, we've been watching a lot of them. Jean-Claude Van. Okay. With the e Let's hit the eagle. Let's hit the hawk on the back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go Hawk! I hated this guy last season, as you saw in my last reaction video. Let's go Hawk! Wow! Run! No! Just like I said. Just like I said, him being nice. He's the most talented, but him being nice is going to be his downfall. But it's... In the long term, it's for the best though, because he will go full Sith Lord. Game done! Hawk is champion! It's my dog! It's my. Let's go! Let's go! Fuck Cobra Kai, bro. I want Tori to win, but if Tori wins, that means Cobra Kai wins in the overall. I can't. We can't allow that to happen. This guy's a hell of an announcer. You know what I would love to hear him do? I would love to hear him say that. Pause, by the way, and you know, suck it. Yeah, um, I, I would. A, lo a young man would love that. She was a proper bitch this season, though. When when <laughs> when Tori turned up to the school again for the first time, she would. I thought that was a dream. Cause how could you be so mean? How could you be so cold-hearted? As Kanye West said. Ross. To the head, you know, that's mod. It's been attacking, but it's not working. What style should I use? Your style. Yours. Hit me. Use everything you've learned from me. And since they use the Samantha bitch style. That's the that's the most powerful that's one. Jeez, bitch style, you know, mod. Wow, I swear she's switching styles more than way than way Wulong. Well my Tekken people will know about that, but she's just switching styles fam. <laughs> Drunken Mastiche doing their styles. Let's go, Sam. Raw. Reversal? Ooh. Ross. I ain't never seen Sam act like this before. What's that? I can't lie. This is the, the best Valley tournament I've ever seen in my entire life throughout all the, the Karate Kid universe. <laughs> Kyla might be the might be the most annoying human in the world. I got in the way that don't blame yourself, you blame me. I'm sick of blaming you to Miles Morales, aka Kenny is the real Anakin Skywalker. He went to the dark side and there's, there's no bringing him back. <laughs> there's no bringing him back. <laughs> How many times? Do you expect me to repay that debt before I swear? Are you gonna send a boy to, to jail? There's payback and then there's this. It's okay, Raymond. The man who did this can't hurt you anymore. Wow! He's got pulled like that? His name is Sensei. Crease. Son Crease. Can't prove that. They can't prove that. They can't prove that. That can't, that can't stand up in court. But you see, I hate Sting, Sting Ray. I hated him. He's just a fry dumpling with, with a Tony Stark, no, Doctor Strange goatee. I hate Sting Ray. So what is in season five? Is it gonna be, Chris, Johnny Lawrence, and Daniel Sun teaming up? 
they're gonna be like that uh that Paul Rudd meme. Look at us. Who would have thought it? Not me. I would never thought they were the team that. I don't know how I feel about that actually. There's something I didn't tell you about my task. I know. It's easy for him to do. never heard his own son. That's just it. He doesn't know Miguel exists. <gasps> <laughs> Imagine he goes up to some random Mexican man. Mexican man. I am your son. No. There's too much at stake to honor an agreement made with men who have no. That's a bar. But will you help me finally put an end to Cobra Kai? Oh man, I've chosen you. Yeah? This show is ridiculous. This show is ridiculous. So it's gonna be Daniel Sun, Johnny, Chosen, and Chris on one side? Or is it gonna be Miyagi Fang? Okay, good into the season though. Good into the season. Soon after. It was a good end to the season, I can't lie. But there's still a lot of story arcs still open. They won the tournament, but they've done it by cheating. What's the blowback of that gonna be? Is there gonna be any? No one else saw it but Tori. Chris is in jail, Chosen's back. Are they gonna, they're supposed to dissolve the dojos? Are they gonna do that? Where's, what's Robbie gonna do? Where's, where's Miguel gone? Johnny gonna go to Mexico? Cobra Kai is gonna expand. Who's gonna stop them? Will it be enough? I have to find out next week in Dragon Ball Z, but it was a, it was a good end to the season and i will reiterate just in case i cut out any of the bits that i said it in this valley tournament was the best i've ever seen at what tournament and a, a round of applause again to the choreography the the karate i was gonna say the kung fu not the kung fu the, the karate the martial arts very impressive better than iron fist better than matrix resurrections let me not do that because that's quite a low bar to be fair but it was very impressive I, i'm definitely going to watch that again certain people still have to lick their wounds from their losses hawk is all valley champion even though really and truly robbie should have won he had him he had him there but you know it would have been a bigger cost to pay if Robbie won than if he lost and he knew that and you can see how broken oh top acting from from Robbie at that end scene as well you can see that Kenny aka Miles Morales is he's, he's lost him he had the same pain in his eyes that Obi-Wan did at the end of whichever Star Wars that was when he realized there was nothing that he can do for Anakin it broke his heart because he taught him everything that he could he thought that taking him under his wing would be the right decision but in the end it only brought him closer his own demise so it'll be see it'll be interesting to see if they bring kenny back next season and if there will be someone who they will have to try to you know redeem because his brother's coming out as well him and his brother they might be a force to reckon with you don't know but let me know what you guys think about how the season ended who you wanted to win the finals if the people that you hoped to win if they did or not and just your thoughts in general but i've been your boy miles this has been agents of screen Happy New Year! But I hope your 2022 is 10 times, 100 times better than 2021 was. I hope you find growth, happiness, and peace. Until the next video, which should be coming extremely soon. Peace.